Yo, yo, welcome back to another EMF Weekly Update, the greatest franchise out here, kicking it off with the Dolphins versus the Seahawks, starting off, Rivers is going to bomb one deep to Kenny Stills, he's going to catch this, somehow break a tackle, get in for six, and that's how the game is going to start here, Carson is going to go down with an injury, that is not what you want to see here trying to get the rpo going and is gonna throw a pick if he ran the right direction that was probably going for six but it wouldn't matter as he would get the toss here go in go out touchdown good blocking that was great that's exactly what you want to see here rivers trying to get it going keep it flowing and ryan's gonna pick this one off get to about the 41 yard line and this offense has to get some points moving. They have to get something going. Finding, trying to find the open receiver here. It's going to throw to an unlikely person. If he got the animation there, it should have been a pick, I would believe. But didn't. And it's going to end up leading to this Seahawks field goal on the board. 13-3. Not bad, but you need to get these touchdowns going, especially when you got Phillip Rivers dropping back and throwing picks. He's going to throw it to Bobby Wagner here, going to the outside and getting in for a pick six. You know defense wins championships, and right there, Kendricks should have got an animation for a pick six. Dolphins would end up going for for it on fourth and two philip rivers dropping back chucking it up the stills again that man has been going off all season and not a lot of teams are stopping him 19 to 10 here right before the end of the half seahawks need to get some sort of points going anything and they're gonna throw a crazy pick that's gonna bounce off a couple people to fuller nothing would happen the rest of the half but kicking it off to start the third quarter trying to get something going and that boy Bobby Wagner he's gonna catch another pick but Dolphins would get the ball back and run straight up the middle no run defense nobody was there straight up the middle untouched for a long touchdown run here Wilson trying to put a comeback together dropping back finding Lockett on a deep route wide open here trying to make sure they get some points on the board and is going to throw a pick fitzpatrick's going to pick this off and not much more would happen the rest of this game as the clock would get chewed out and the dolphins will take this one 25 to 10 what a good game to kick off our week now hopping over chargers versus the steelers getting it started ben roethlisberger is gonna drop back and find an open tied in right there with a juke to the left getting in for a touchdown to start this game out the chargers play this game very interesting here he's gonna drop back try and find someone get a receiver somehow through that i would expect a linebacker to drop up but he didn't now check in one deep that's gonna be a pick. Ryan Chazier is just too fast and too big to be trying to do that. A couple missed tackles is gonna set up his team pretty good, even though he just got smacked. Here we are, Roethlisberger trying to get this going. Uh, they decided to run commit, and it's gonna cost them as Higgins is gonna get down to about the nine yard line and then a dot over the top. What a pass! What a touchdown! Steelers of 14 here on the next drive. There's going to be a flag on the play after a big run. It would get put back here trying to get some going and just get sacked. Didn't fall for the play action there. Here trying to make something happen and over the top. Oh, what a play. What a catch by Keenan Allen, his star receiver, trying to get the RPO going. And what a weird tip, catch, fumble. Steelers are going to get that ball back on the really weird thing that happened there. Trying to get this run game going, but he's not able to do that. Chucking another one deep. 
And that's gonna lead to another pick. That's what happens when you just sit here and chuck the ball up. It's gonna get picked a lot. Here, Connor trying to get something going, going outside with the stretch, going back outside, getting the ball moving for the Steelers team. Again, he's gonna just keep running all over this Chargers defense and a strip. What a nice animation there. Getting the strip. Chargers are going to get the football back, trying to make something happen. And he has triangle wide open with the possession catch on the sideline. What a good catch here. Dropping back, finding another open receiver with one missed tackle, two missed tackle. Three tackles were missed with only 40 seconds left. That was a great play, but it would only lead to three. Now going into the second half, Roethlisberger is going to get lucky by not getting smacked. Does a weird circle route, whatever he just did after he caught the ball. But this would end up being dotted in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers are going to take the commanding 21-3 lead. And Melvin Gordon was saying he needed to bring his team back as he's going to take this run 51 yards for the touchdown and they're right back in this game 21 17 here with the pump fake the chuck and juju smith is gonna come down with it somehow and this is getting into the end zone not very good coverage he was all over him but wasn't able to get the ball away from him here trying to get back in this game gets a really weird playoff to his fullback his fullback's gonna make two people get by and it's gonna set them up for this rpo that keenan allen's gonna take down to about the 11 yard line here they're gonna be able to get this in easy with a melvin gordon touchdown that is their main source of offense here trying to get it going keeping it flowing keeping this game close in the fourth gonna try and go for it he walked right through that line untouched nobody blocked him they would end up getting the ball back trying to make something happen and again throwing it into double coverage that is gonna be a pick not what you're looking for in the fourth they need a stop here they ran commit they ended up run committing again and higgins is gonna take this all the way to the end zone 35 17 they really have to make something happen but they're just not gonna do it as he's chucking it again into double coverage and this would run out the game as the score would be 35 to 17. That is it for this week's weekly update. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.